In the small, isolated town of Ravensbrook, where shadows seemed to dance with malevolent intent, there stood an ancient mansion that cast an eerie silhouette against the moonlit sky. Locals whispered about its haunted history, a tale of dark rituals and unspeakable horrors that had unfolded within its walls centuries ago. The mansion had long been abandoned, but its ominous presence lingered like a ghostly echo. One stormy night, a group of adventurous friends decided to explore the decaying mansion, drawn by the allure of the supernatural and the thrill of the forbidden. As they approached, the creaking gate swung open on their own, beckoning them into the darkness beyond. Undeterred by the ominous signs, the group stepped cautiously inside. The air inside the mansion was thick with a palpable tension, and the only sound that echoed through the grand hallways was the distant howling of the wind. They moved through rooms adorned with tattered wallpaper and dilapidated furniture, each step accompanied by an unsettling creak or an inexplicable whisper. The friends exchanged nervous glances, their bravado masking an undercurrent of fear. As they ventured deeper into the mansion, the temperature dropped, and an otherworldly chill settled in their bones. The group stumbled upon a room bathed in an eerie, flickering light emanating from a set of ancient candles. In the center of the room, a decaying wooden table held a dusty Ouija board, seemingly untouched for centuries. A hushed silence fell upon the group as they exchanged uneasy glances. Against their better judgment, curiosity overcame them. They gathered around the table and placed trembling fingers on the planchette. The room seemed to pulse with an unseen energy as they asked, is there anyone here with us? The planchette began to move, spelling out a cryptic message that sent shivers down their spines. As the friends attempted to comprehend the mysterious communication, the mansion came alive with spectral echoes. Whispers turned into ghostly wails, and shadows twisted and contorted in sinister shapes. Panic set in as the group realized they had awakened something malevolent, something that had been dormant for centuries. The temperature plummeted further, and the flickering candles cast dancing shadows on the walls that seemed to whisper ancient incantations. Doors slammed shut, trapping the friends in a labyrinth of haunted corridors. Desperation fueled their attempts to escape, but the mansion seemed to shift and rearrange itself, trapping them in an ever-changing maze. One by one, the friends vanished into the darkness, their terrified screams swallowed by the malevolent forces that now roamed the cursed mansion. The last remaining survivor stumbled upon a decrepit mirror, its surface reflecting a ghastly visage that bore a twisted grin. The entity from the Ouija board had taken physical form, and with a bone-chilling whisper, it claimed the final soul. As the storm outside raged on, the mansion returned to its ghostly silence, its secrets sealed within its walls. Ravensbrook, forever haunted by the events of that fateful night, became a place feared by even the bravest souls, a town where the line between the living and the dead blurred into a nightmare that echoed through the ages.